do is eat more cashews. <laughs> Nazca Lines is destroyed. We're on to Toyland now, boys. I got some shout outs and shit for you guys here today, but we'll get to that in a second. We just, uh, actually, I want to start out with a question that one of my friends just text messaged me. And I thought it was a very interesting question. I mean, I had an answer for it pretty much immediately. This is me just testing out the level, by the way, for anybody watching. Just testing out the level just to see what exactly the path is, because sometimes it's difficult to tell. But the question I received from my friend is, he said uh, he was watching an Andrew Tate video. And he said, do you think it's... He said... um, you know, is it, is, he asked me, he says, do you think it's possible to believe in a God without necessarily being religious? Um, there's actually a, a word for this. It's called, I mean, depending on how exactly you want to go about s- saying this, because some people might not subscribe to this definition, but the definition that I think fits this best is agnostic. You know, sorry, the word that fits this best is agnostic. And the Merriam-Webster definition for this, I'll read it to you guys right now. The first definition is a person who holds the view that any ultimate reality, such as God, is unknown and probably unknowable. Uh, And it says broadly here, broadly, one who is not committed to believing in either the existence or the non-existence of God or a God. And then the second definition is a person who is unwilling to commit to opinion about something. I think that that actually is also a good definition because (coughs) that uses an example here of political agnostics. And I think that uh, you can be agnostic about a lot of things because it's, well, you know, my girlfriend, we had a discussion about this the other day and it's like, why do I have to make a decision about certain things, you know? Fuck, I got to stop saying you know. I, I listened to, I got a video last week that went out and it got like 100, and right now it's got like 190 views. And I was freaking out about it because I'm like, holy crap, 190 views. What did I do in that video that I didn't do in any of the other videos? And why is this one got an abnormal amount of views, you know? And I re-listened to it and all I could hear the entire time was me saying, you know. I was making some really good points, but then I throw that in there and it just drove me freaking bananas and, you know, fuck, I said it again. I don't mind swearing and stuff. I like making good points, but throwing that in there all the time is, it's like a filler phrase. So if you can cut that out from your vernacular, it's probably not a bad idea because then you just get more directly to the point, you know? (laughs) <laughs> like you can throw it in there and it'll keep people kind of like going with it but I just don't think it helps necessarily right you can if you can cut certain words out of out of your vocabulary because they're unnecessary it just I think it even helps with your thinking so but anyway I'm gonna get to some of the shout outs that I want to get to here before the end of this video this is easy on Toyland for anybody watching my one of my buddies he made a new video here and I I gonna watch it actually maybe not tonight but I'm gonna watch it I'm just friggin trying to find my where is my channel okay so oh gosh where do I oh there it is YouTube studio I should have had this already before I started this video but I thought I did I guess not. So I'm going to shout out MFKN. I think it's supposed to be motherfucking Z, which I think is actually a good name. MFKN Z. That's an awesome name, by the way. Uh, Your message was very hard to understand, but I got the gist of it, and I appreciate your comment, man. Uh, Yeah, it's taking making big changes in your life, something like, you know, not smoking or I don't know depending on what it is it could be something something very small for people can be a big challenge and I think that as long as people are making big challenges 
Um, I think I think making big challenges, putting 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 challenges in front of your face that you can get over. Having walls there that you can get over are is is a key to progress. And you know, for some people, it might be something simple because, like, somebody who doesn't smoke, saying you know I'm not smoking is like, you know, they're like whatever. Well, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. And it's like, yeah, I actually you're right. <laughs> That's why, you know, it's kind of hard to have a discussion about it openly and honestly with people sometimes, right? Um, because some people just don't want to, they don't want to give you credit, you know? You know, again, saying it there again. But anyway, uh, so motherfucking Z, thank you for saying that. I appreciate all the comments that you made. So thank you very much for commenting. I now have one more subscriber than I did a while ago. So, oh, and that's something I should say is anybody who's listening to this video, if you subscribe, I'm going to be giving a, I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I get to a thousand subscribers. I'm not going to say exactly what it is yet, but there is going to be a giveaway. And the more you guys are excited about the giveaway, the better it's going to be. So... You know, but it's going to be proportional to hopefully some value that I can give you. I'll, I'll tell you guys more as we get closer to a thousand subscribers and how to either opt in or opt out of it. Or, you know, I can't imagine anybody would want to opt out of a, a giveaway, but you might. And also just for ease of purposes, I might have to have people opt in so I could actually get them what it is that, you know, I'm trying to give away. So a thousand subscriber giveaway, subscribe if you if you're interested in the giveaway or if you like my content, uh, some people might not like the content, but just want the giveaway. So I mean, the other way, I think it'll help. It'll help me if you subscribe. So, and it doesn't cost you anything. So that's uh, another benefit to it too. But I, I really only want people to subscribe to me if they're getting some kind of value out of my channel. And I, I think that, you know, just the, the back and forth that people tend to have with their audiences seem to do pretty well. So, uh, yeah, that's, so motherfucking Z and then I'm going to shout out love Montel 8304. I don't know what that's a reference to, but he said, bro, balloon six is out. Why are you still playing this? And somebody actually responded to him and I'm going to shout him out too is, uh, snom gang scorch nine, five, five, seven. He said, bro, why do you care what other people spend their time doing? People still play OG COD. There is nothing wrong with that. Man, it depends what you mean by OG COD because I actually played the original Call of Duty. Like, there was uh, original Call of Duty and then there was an expansion pack. And this was back when you actually had to put discs into the computer. I mean, I'm not old enough to actually... We used floppy disks, actually. We did. But they were kind of going out of style by the time I was getting familiar with computers. So discs were more of the big thing. And you could burn... C- Burning CDs was the big was a big deal. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much of that because this round's going to end. But if you guys want to listen to more of this, you know, come back for the next video. But I'm going to shout out somebody else here. And it's gonna, I'm going to shout out my boy, Soul. He was my first... As far as I know, my first subscriber. And uh, he's been here throughout you know, the past three or four months. So I just want to give him another shout out because thanks for being around, Soul. He said, you know, your first short is what he commented on my video. So I've had a couple other guys. I can't remember their names. Oh, I'm with Milk and another guy, but I can't remember. I can't remember the other guy's name right now. Uh, Why can I not remember it? Anyway, hasn't been that long, but I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. eh? Appreciate it.